everybody, Chef AJ here, and I am here with my good friend, Robert Cheek, who just wrote a new book with Matt Frazier called The Plant-Based Athlete. Tell us about it, Robert. Thank you, Chef AJ. First of all, it's great to see you, and it's great to be here, and I am super excited about The Plant-Based Athlete. It is basically a, a lifelong dream of mine to tell the compelling stories of the world's greatest plant-based athletes. And you're one of them, by the way. Uh, well, well, <laughs> well, you know, I'm, I'm one of the writers behind it, but we had the opportunity to, to interview 60 world-class plant-based athletes, including a dozen Olympians, more than a dozen world champions, world record holders, elite and professional plant-based athletes of all walks of life, uh, men and women uh, included, and, and, and with so many diverse backgrounds from around the world. It's just been such a joy. And, and in the book, it's of course, it's not just about these athletes and their stories, but it's all the nutrient density, calorie density, recovery, all the things that you would expect. Where from, do you get your protein? Yeah, exactly. An entire chapter dedicated to protein all of that stuff but there's also a day in the life routine for uh, 25 different plant-based athletes you can find out what they eat for breakfast what they do for their workout what they have for lunch what's their pre and post workout routine nutritionally what do they do for recovery what's their dinner like do they eat dessert uh, you, you get this like the the curtain pulled back you you get an inside look at some of these amazing athletes who are like Olympic gold medalists and and in some cases have been plant-based for years and some even plant-based since birth including uh, you know uh, Olympic medalists like like Kevin Hill so uh, there's so much in here including the recipes and obviously we're, we're making one today and one of the things that one of the things that I think is unique about the book is that the recipes are actually contributed by the athletes yeah. it's like it's like what they actually eat so it's not just my way it's not Matt's way it's not just one person's way it's here's an opportunity to see behind the scenes what these amazing athletes are doing and see what resonates with you that is amazing how did the collaboration between you and Matt come about well, uh, this was actually a, a book that I started in 2013. The plant-based athlete I wrote a proposal way back then, and I, we, we wanted to go with a major, major publisher. And so it was actually our friend uh, Brian Wendell put me in touch with his agent from Forks Over Knives. I approached the agent with this concept, and she's like, "Great, but you're not doing it alone. <laughs> you're not. You're not well known enough, Robert. You're oh, not famous enough. On, you're not really? successful enough." Oh. That's what, that, was, that was the reality. And so I had to embrace that and thought, man, who could be a good partner in this? Someone I've known for a long time, someone who compliments my work. Obviously, I, do, I run a strength community with veganbodybuilding.com and Matt runs No Meat Athlete, an endurance community, right? And, and we've, we've endorsed all of each other's books and we've collaborated for the past decade. So I actually uh, flew out to the East Coast years ago, met with Matt, presented it to him, and said, what do you think? And he said, I'm in. That's amazing. And so we've, worked, we've spent two and a half years working on this, conducting interviews in person before COVID and all that, uh, online, through email, through the phone, uh, talking to I mean, amazing people like, like James Wilkes, who created the Game Changers, to Rip Esselstyn, who's an iconic plant-based yeah. athlete, Fiona Oaks, who's been plant-based for five decades and has wow. multiple Guinness World Records, and, uh, and Dotsie Bausch, an Olympic medalist. And it's kind of like Game Changers, but in a book, in a way. A, a little bit. A little bit. It features many more athletes, many more stories, many more female athletes. And we have Jahina Malik, who's been vegan since birth. And guess what? She's a professional bodybuilder at the highest level. Wow. I mean, that puts the protein argument to rest right there. She's more muscular than I am and, and, and most men. Well, you and, look like an action figure. <laughs> <laughs> so imagine Jahina. And she's been vegan since birth as as have her uh, four siblings. And they're, and they're all athletes. And you know, she's in the book. And so it's, and Megan Duhamel, who we're making one of her recipes today, mm. uh, she's an Olympic gold medalist in figure skating, a world champion, so many records, and, and also lives a compassionate vegan lifestyle. Well, whoever said you aren't well known enough is going to eat their words once this book <laughs> comes out. Tell us when it comes out, how we can get it, and why we might want to pre-order it. Yeah, so The Plant-Based Athlete, and look, it's hardcover, my first ever hardcover book. It is, I mean, it's so shiny, like you, you have to get hold it just at the right angle. Uh, it, it comes out June 15th in bookstores everywhere. It's with HarperCollins, the world's second largest publisher, uh, endorsed by our friend Colin Campbell and, and, and Caldwell Esselstyn and, and Brenda Davis and so many wonderful people. Scott Jurek, one of the greatest runners ever. And it's, so it is available everywhere June 15th, uh, at least in the US and Canada. And you can pre-order right now from anywhere, from Amazon to Barnes & Noble to anywhere else. And when you do, if you just submit your order receipt to support at nomeatathlete.com, you get all kinds of bonuses, including a week in the life 
of my meal plans and Matt's meal plans, a bunch of other digital bonuses uh, that are going to just sh shed more light on meal planning and, and help you along your journey, and a bunch of surprise bonuses as well. Uh, Matt has a bunch of surprise digital bonuses, and then I'm working on actually some physical bonuses. Yeah, and one of the physical bonuses, Robert Cheek will come to your house and make a recipe. If you order 120 copies, no, <laughs> no. We better, somebody <laughs> might for that, it is, it's worth it for that. Uh, you know, some people have ordered, uh, you know, f four copies at a time. I'm actually offering some of these vegan strong aprons when people order X number of copies. I'm still figuring out all, all the details, but I can share that with you later um, through my work with vegan strong. So we're going to be having vegan strong aprons, giveaways, as physical bonuses, uh, different products and coupons and all of that. And then the physical sense, but also we have some amazing digital You know, the bonuses. day it launches, we should do a live, even if it's a short one, yeah. because that's what authors have been doing on my channel. Yeah. Giving, giving away, the publisher has been giving away copies. Yeah. And, and your platform is a big deal. I mean, that's yeah. why I traveled hours to be here. <laughs> to be and really, I did. I traveled hours to be here uh, in your kitchen because this is a, a jumping off point for me to celebrate something that's been a, a lifetime oh. in the making. Well, I wish you every success. And guys, get the book. I read it. I read a galley copy. It's a great book. And the recipes are great. And the recipe we're going to be doing today, Robert said I could pick whichever one I want. And having been a pastry chef, I figured, well, why not pick dessert? And I had all the ingredients in my house, which is what I love. I didn't have to go find, you know, some weird superfood to make the recipe. Yeah, and so we have uh, sweet potato brownies today, uh, Megan Newhamel. And who's Megan Newhamel? Megan Duhamel is a Canadian world champion figure skater. She also won an Olympic gold medal. She had, uh, her story is really fascinating. She had this dream, you know, a lot of Olympic athletes have this dream when you're, you know, five years old, six years old, someday I'm going to be in the Olympics. And she just, she just didn't make it um, her first time. Uh, she just, she missed the cut making the Olympic team. And then I think she was an alternate her next time. And it was, it was time to face reality, maybe give up, but she kept going and she found the benefits of a plant-based diet to help with recovery, to help with energy, to help with performance. I think even think to help with focus. Uh, she just gives so much credit to a plant-based diet that allowed her to just to keep going. And of course the mental strength, she did, she had to have that mental strength too, which may or may not have anything to do with a plant-based diet, but it's something that was instilled in her to get, give it a go one more time. And sure enough, she made the Olympics and won an Olympic gold medal. Um, even though she was this close of saying, you know what, maybe that wasn't in the cards for me. Wow, that's and, and the reason that speaks to me is because that was that was like me with bodybuilding. I was a 120 pound know, long I've distance runner. I've seen picture, it's amazing. Yeah, I, I had no business in the sport of bodybuilding and I, I struggled at first, but then I said, you know what, I, I want this bad enough, I'm gonna keep going, and, and sure enough, I eventually put on 100 pounds. I, from, Most people want to lose 100 pounds. Right, but, <laughs> but that just shows again the viability of a plant-based diet. It didn't, it didn't slow me down. Right. It didn't prevent me from becoming a champion bodybuilder right. and on the cover of magazines and, and touring around the world and writing books. And so I connect with someone like Megan Duhamel. I was just like, you, 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 don't, you don't give up if it means something to you. You keep going and you use the, the power of food to support you. You know, like, like Dr. Clapper said, it's the food, it's the food, it's the food. And it's always been the food. And it's always been the food. And Megan talks about that in her interview. We have these interviews that are, in some cases, pages long in the book, these stories. And, and for me, that was the most fun. I mean, writing these stories and, and talking to these people and that overcoming addiction and overcoming you know, childhood trauma, overcoming rejection, overcoming significant injuries, overcoming obesity, overcoming so many things to then become the best in the world or one of the best in the world. Which one overcame obesity? Uh, well, I mean, a number of them, but Josh Lajani. Oh, is, wow, is, yeah. I mean, can you imagine a guy at 420 pounds? who then would later go on to win, not compete, but win a 100 mile race, it's unbelievable. It's unbelievable. And, and he's, he's like 180 pounds. He weighs less than I do. I'm, 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 I've got up to 220, I'm about 212 maybe standing here today. I mean, and he's taller than me, he, and he was a 400 plus pound individual, and now he's an ultra endurance running champion and one of the nicest guys. Yeah, I know, just like you, one of the nicest guys and an inspiration just like you. So we're gonna put this right, well actually I'm gonna let you do it because I think you learn best by doing. I'm a, you know, I've am been a pastry chef, I know how to do it. And I, you had mentioned you wanna start cooking more, so this will be your first lesson. I'm thinking of teaching a master pastry class next year so we can see if I'm a good teacher. And maybe as you do this, you can mention why these ingredients are helpful in general, but maybe more specifically, how they can fuel an athlete. Yeah, absolutely. And what's funny, Chef AJ, I think it's maybe worth noting for your audience is I've been doing this uh, plant-based diet as an athlete for more than 25 years. Wow. 
yet my experience in the kitchen is pretty limited. <laughs> and my experience in the gym is also pretty limited. So, but I think it's important to, to note that because some people assume, oh, you're plant-based, you just must, you know, must know everything about cooking or must be great in the, you know, in the kitchen and all this. And uh, you know, the truth is I, I married a wonderful woman who, who ha has, has taken on that project to, to help me when I write books and spend hours and you know, years doing that and, and training and all these other things. Um, you know, she's been able to make a, a lot of amazing meals for me. So, um, so uh, as you can see, I'm sweating in the kitchen. Uh, yeah, the ner he's so nervous. His first attempt the, at a recipe. Yeah, no, I mean, I, I can make some things, this of course. This is really easy. We're just going to put everything in and smash it. But, but yeah, that's the, um, you know, that's just, and that's why, you know, these recipes aren't necessarily all from me. Uh, some are adapted from my wife, but they're from these athletes who, 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 who do make all, the, all this great food. And so, so where do we begin? Okay, so we're going to start with the ingredients. So this is a sweet potato. I didn't have the orange one. This is a... a the Hannah yam, but I didn't think it would matter. So, okay. so we're going to put the sweet Hannah potato yam in. brownies today. And you're going to do the you're going to do the physical part. Okay, am I mashing it yet? And so we've got we've got some peanut butter, and I made this myself in my nutra milk. So there's no additives, no oil, no salt. And I would imagine that you know athletes need more of these high fat plant foods just to fuel them. Yeah, cells exactly. Their workouts. And they're high calorie density. You need the calories mm -hmm. to recover. I mean, I burn, for example, I burn over three thousand calories per day, and that's Whoa. just me being you know a six foot tall male, two hundred and fifteen pounds and active you know in the gym five or, or so days a week and active in my general life dog walks and all that uh, you know I, I burn thousands of calories but so so does Laura Klein a world champion duathlete and and all these other people Mary Schneider who's a, a Olymp US Olympic trials qualified marathon runner in the book uh, so even women who are maybe half my size are burning because they're triathletes or they're marathon runners they're burning calories like crazy and things like sweet potatoes are one of the best best fuel food yeah one of the best foods for fuel it should be in everybody's diet for for energy endurance um, it, they're they're filling and satiating they're delicious they're delicious and they provide that like John Pierre says and I, I think I actually mentioned this in the book I think I, I mentioned John Pierre in the book that he, he talks about it being like a, 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 a log burning slowly on the fire versus a uh, like a newspaper burning quickly you know in right. simple carbohydrates so sweet potato is your log burning they're on the fire so for the long haul good. and of course the nut butters you know and I love that this recipe didn't have any oil or salt. I didn't have to modify it. We've got some cocoa yet? powder. Now mash? Yeah, yeah, you can mash it now. Okay. Mash and kind of stir. Yeah, and then I'm going to add the sweetener. Now, your recipe called for a cup of coconut sugar. I just didn't have that, so I'm using date syrup, and I think it's going to be absolutely fine. We're just going to incorporate all this together, and I love that we didn't have to get out the electric mixer. We can do this by hand. And I get a workout doing it yeah. all the while, too. I'm going to have a bigger absolutely. forearms when I'm done. And that's In case you're wondering, I'm using this sweetener called I Love Date Lady. You can get 10% off with code Chef AJ. I'll put a link to that. It's made from just dates. Isn't that amazing? Nothing else. Else. This is a big like, date. I, I, I drove around yesterday when I got to town and there was like a date festival. Yes. Uh, it's I like a thing the, out here. I live in the right? date capital of the world. And yeah. We do have a date festival every year. We have <laughs> yeah. it since COVID, but come back next February. I it's saw that. Wonderful. <laughs> I mean, to me, this looks and smells like a brownie mix that you could get, you know? Yeah, well, everything. I mean, all the stuff in the book, all the recipes are designed to be, you know, it's, it's, it's stuff that it should resonate with everybody. Now we're going to add our flour, and it, it just, it didn't say what kind, so I have a gluten-free blend. That's what we're adding. Okay, and just keep on going? Yeah, just keep mushing it, and then after it gets incorporated, you're just kind of kind of shake down your little tool to get it off. That's actually a potato masher, believe it or not, and there's also a little bit of baking uh, powder in there. So, and, very, and again, it was so great that I did not have to go to the store to make this recipe. These were things that we just have in our house, so it was perfect. And, you know, in the time it takes to open a box of some brownie mix with all kinds of chemicals and preservatives, you can make one from whole natural food. It smells amazing, by the way. And I would imagine if you're somebody that can't do chocolate because of the caffeine or for whatever reason, I bet carob powder would be great. I mean, that smells like brownies already. It's amazing. Yeah. It's going to be awesome. And there was very little flour in it. So when you can, you just kind of like hit, hit it. Yeah, we want to get that off as much as you can. I don't want to like, break the bowl or anything. Yeah, that's okay. It's, uh, <laughs> I got a friend that sells Tupperware. I could get more. This is like the perfect, yeah, you, you can use this to help get it off. That's the perfect consistency. And the only thing we're going to add are some chocolate chips. And I'm using a brand from Trader Joe's. You can get it other places. They're organic and there's no sugar. It is just the cacao, the 100%. So this is the real deal. And so any property that's beneficial in cocoa or cacao, it's not in the sugar, it's not in the dairy, it's in the real thing. So you just do the best you can. And then we're going to add the chocolate chips. Oh my God. This 
is going to be amazing. And I'll hand this back to you. Yeah, thank you. I'll probably use this one for stirring. Oh, okay. Now. And if you do get a chocolate chip that is not 100%, just, you know, if you, if you do sugar, that's fine. Just please make sure you get a vegan brand because uh, that's better for everything considered. Very good. Wow, you're pretty good, Robert. We better not let Karen know you're doing this or she might expect a little help yeah. right now and then oh, in the kitchen. <laughs> I'm trying to decide which of these pans to use. I have this cute little heart-shaped pan or a square. This is silicone, by the way, oven safe to, I believe, up to 500 degrees. But we're going to be baking it for 40 minutes at 350 degrees. But I thought it'd be kind of nice to maybe make a heart shape because Robert Cheek is one of the most loving people I know. Well, thank That's you. That's why we're doing that. And, and just, you have, you, you know, you go with things. Like, you you know, you're, you're spot, you can be spontaneous. You can, you just, you know, you're up for things. You know what I mean? Well, thank you. I appreciate the kind words, Chef AJ. You're not, you're not like, oh, I got to think about it. Maybe it's not a good idea. You're, you know, you can be spontaneous. Like, and to do like little, oh, look at this. This, I mean, this, you know what this smells like and looks like is fudge. I'm glad I picked this pan. It's going to be great. And unlike when you bake with eggs, you don't have to worry. You can lick the pan. So we're just going <laughs> to press this down. And I would imagine that this isn't something an athlete would eat during the workout. Probably more of a treat later. Right, right. right. Yeah, this is just in the dessert section of the book. We have all kinds of sections for, um, for breakfast recipes, for lunch recipes, for dinner recipes, things that fit into pre and post workout. But also we wanted to make it, we wanted to show the reality of you know, we, we, we want to have some honesty and integrity too with the book to show that you know, even the best athletes in the world do some desserts and, and foods like that as well. And that's just the, the, the truth of it. And, and part of that is they work so hard. You know, they exercise so much that um, some of these types of foods, these more decadent things, they, they do fit into their they do fit into their lifestyle. Yeah. That's just the reality. You know, they're, they're, they're hard working, physically active people. And so something like a dessert is, is you know, yeah. it, fit, it fits in the diet. Right. And, and athletes that don't eat this way that succeed, it's in spite of their diet, not because of it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and so this is this is one of many of the wonderful desserts in the book, and it's and it's exciting to see. It's exciting to see all the all the wonderful contributions, and uh, it's gonna be a fun part of the book too. There's about sixty recipes in total. So I'm gonna put this in the preheated oven at 350 degrees, bake it for 40 minutes, and when it's done, we're gonna show you what it looks like, and maybe we'll even taste it. So. This baked for 40 minutes at 350. We let it cool a little bit. What I love about silicone is nothing sticks. You don't need oil. No oil in this recipe. And I'm just going to put it on the plate. Wow, look at Does that. This look amazing. Yeah. You want to try it? I do. I do. This is our sweet potato That's brownie. Oh, th this no, is my, <laughs> like the whole thing. You, you know, it would be great if, I, if we had a little bit of uh, nice cream on top or yeah. some plant ice cream like vanilla. But this looks amazing. And it looks so rich. Yeah. And the richness is from real food, like peanut butter and dates yep. and sweet potato. And sweet potato, that's where the, the fuel comes from, too. So even though it's like a dessert thing, it's like there's still some it good... It smells like the real thing. There's some good it. stuff in there. This is a great recipe. And, and like I said, the ingredients are familiar. Mm. You probably have them in your house. So if you want this recipe and many others, including the summer pasta salad and more, you're going to have to pre-order this book because by doing so, you not only help a dear man, but you get all these bonuses. Yeah, we've got a lot of bonuses, including some surprise ones we didn't mention. Like, we're going to go all out with this book with all kinds of digital bonuses, all kinds of behind-the-scenes content. It's going to be really exciting. Well, thank you so much for coming to my kitchen. And thank you, Chef AJ. Cooking with me. Yeah, thank you. That was really fun. We got to do it again sometime. Yep. So, buy the book. You'll love it. Thank Thanks, you. everyone, for watching. Bye.